that anointing to operate as a pastor. You'll just have that title, but you won't have the proper mantle to operate in that office. And that cuts across even bit in business, in whatever calling that God has for us. So tonight, we are going to pray, asking God to give us the anointing to break every setback that may leave us merely as title bearers without the mantle. So I want us to read the book of Psalms, chapter 100. I want us to read, sorry, we want us to read the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, verse 27. It's, it says, And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off your shoulder, and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. So we sing from this verse that we've just read that it takes the anointing to break yokes, it takes anointing to break from every kind of limitation that may, that may be there that may hinder us from fulfilling what God has for us. So I want us to pray this evening asking God to give us a yoke-breaking anointing to break every yoke that has withstood us before now and to give us the grace to begin operating in our offices and in our callings in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Did you get the prayer point? I want us to ask God to give us a yoke-breaking anointing. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your name this evening, everlasting Father. Lord, we thank you, everlasting King of glory, for the anointing, everlasting King of glory. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we ask, Almighty Father, that you may impart us, Almighty Father, with the yoke-breaking anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus that you may give us the yoke-breaking anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever kind of setback, O oh Lord, that has prevented us, O oh mighty Father, from fulfilling that purpose which you have for us in our generation, O oh God, Father, we decree in the name of Jesus that this night, O oh mighty Father, with the anointing of the Holy Spirit, everlasting Father, every barrier, every setback is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we decree in the name of Jesus, that every kind of limitation, oh God, every kind of setback that has hindered us, oh God, from entering into that which you have in store for us in our generation, everlasting Father, we decree and declare that it is broken off our necks in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we decree and declare in the name of Jesus that every and every kind of yoke that has limited us before now is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Marco Zente Ribo Zekayante Rebo Saya Leka Bro Zente Ribo Zekayante Rebo Bo Zika Rika Zante Rebo Zekayante Rebo Bo Zika Yante Rebo Saya Father, every yoke that has limited our spiritual growth is broken tonight in the name of Jesus. Every yoke that has limited our growth in the mighty name of Jesus, it, we decree and declare that it is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Every yoke that has hindered us from being fruitful, O oh God, we decree and declare in the name of Jesus that it is broken in the name of Jesus. Marco zente ribo zekayanta rebo zika lika bro zente ribo zekayanta rebo bo zaya Marco zente ribo zekayanta rebo zika yanta rebo zaya rika laba zonto rebo bo zika yanta rebo zaya rika yanta rebo zika yanta raba bo zike yanta rebo zaya rika ba zonto rebo zika yanta rebo zika yanta rebo zaya leka yanta rebo zika Yante rebo bo zika, lika bro zente rebo bo zika, yante rebo bo saya. Father, every yoke that has made us to only be title bearers, everlasting Father, we decree that that yoke is broken in the name of Jesus. Father, we decree that every yoke that has just made us to be title bearers, Almighty Father, without being fruitful, O King of Glory, we decree and declare that it is hereby broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Marco zente ribo zekayante rebo saya, lika bro zente rebo zikayante ribo bo saya, rika zante rebo zikayante rebo bo zika, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for giving us the anointing that breaks yoke, Almighty Father. Yokes of limitation, everlasting King of glory. Yokes of setback are destroyed from our lives and from this commission in the mighty name of Jesus. For it is in Jesus' name that we pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. Let us read Acts chapter 10, verse 38. It says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went 
about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. So as I said, as we are beginning tonight's prayer, I said that as believers, it is the anointing that makes the difference in our lives. It is the anointing of the Holy Ghost that makes the difference in our lives. So even we see for the case of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says that God anointed him with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about. So when the Bible says he went about doing good, that is, he was fulfilling the purpose that God had for him in that time. So even for us today, we are not just going to merely have the title of a Christian, of a believer, without having that power, without having that anointing for us to fulfill the purpose that God has for us. So tonight we're going to pray that Father anoint us with the Holy Ghost and with power so that we can do that which you have called us to do in our generation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask, oh Lord God, for the anointing of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for power, everlasting King of glory. Just like you anointed Jesus, everlasting Father, and you went about doing good, everlasting King of glory, and even healing those that were oppressed of the devil, everlasting Father. So, Lord, we also ask, Almighty oh Father, for the anointing of the Holy Spirit this night in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray that you may anoint us this night in the mighty name of Jesus. So that even it can be, O Jehovah, Lord God, recorded of us that in our generation everlasting, Father, we did exploits for the kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Bozika, Laude Riba Sika Yandere Bosaka Yateri Bozaya. Father, we receive the anointing, everlasting Father. We receive the anointing in the name of Jesus. We receive the power, everlasting King of glory, even to go forth, Almighty Father, and proclaim your gospel in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we receive the anointing that makes the difference in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we receive the anointing that makes the distinction in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Marco Zenterebo Bozika Yanterebo Saya, Lika Brozenterebo Zika Yanterebo Bozika, Lika Brozantaribo Zeka Yanterebo Bozaya. Father, we ask for the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Even, Almighty oh Father, so that we may do exploits in the mighty name of Jesus. For your word says that those who know their God shall stand firm and do great exploits in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit to do exploits in the mighty name of Jesus. To do exploits in our generation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare from the Holy Ghost weak, everlasting Father. We are not remaining the same everlasting King of glory because of the anointing of your Holy Spirit upon our lives, everlasting Father. Because of the anointing of your Holy Spirit, O oh God. Father, we decree and declare that we are not remaining the same everlasting Father. For we are receiving power, O oh God, to do even that which we are not able to do before now in the mighty name of Jesus. We receive power to do exploits in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we receive power to do exploits for the kingdom of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Marco Zenterebo Zekayanterebo Zaya Rikelebo Zinterebo Zikayanterebo Zikam Likayanterebo Zukayantarebo Zikayanterebo Zaya Father, we receive the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit upon our lives. We receive the anointing, O oh God, to do exploits for the kingdom of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we receive the anointing, O oh God. We receive the anointing to do exploits for the kingdom of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we are not going to remain ordinary after this Holy Ghost week in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we receive, we refuse to remain ordinary Christians, O oh mighty Father. For Lord, you are going to, O oh mighty father even give us a fresh anointing in the mighty name of jesus a fresh anointing to do exploits in the mighty name of jesus our lives is going to bear fruits almighty father our lives is going to bear fruits in the mighty name of jesus because of the anointing of the holy spirit upon our lives in the name of jesus marco zenterebo zekayanterebo siam rikalabo zenterebo bo siam 
Mako zenterebo bo zika yanterebo saya rika yanterebo zika yanterebo bo zika lika yanterebo zika yanterebo saya leka bro zinterebo zika yanterebo saya lika yanterebo zuka yanterebo bo zika leka bro zenterebo zika yanterebo saya Father, we thank you for the anointing to do exploits for the kingdom of God. Father, we thank you for the power to do exploits for the kingdom of God, everlasting Father. Lord, we thank you, almighty King of glory, for the new anointing, almighty Father. Lord, we thank you for the fresh anointing upon our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Anointing to do the extraordinary, everlasting Father. Lord, anointing to walk in realms that we've not walked to before now in the mighty name of Jesus. Marco Zenterebo Zikayan Terebo I am Marco Zinterebo Zika and Terebo Zika. Maka zenterebo zika yanterebo zaya rika yanterebo zika yanterebo zaya rika yanterebo zika yanterebo zaya Father I receive fresh oil upon my life this evening in the name of Jesus Father in this Holy Ghost week Almighty Father I receive a fresh anointing in the name of Jesus I refuse to remain the same everlasting Father Lord I refuse to remain the same in the mighty name of Jesus Father I receive your fresh anointing almighty father upon my life to do the extraordinary for the kingdom almighty father to do exploits in the mighty name of jesus father we receive fresh anointing in the name of jesus father we receive a fresh anointing upon our lives in the mighty name of jesus to do exploits Exploits for the kingdom, O oh God. Father, we receive a fresh anointing to do exploits for the kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Marco Zenterebo Zaya, Rike Zenterebo Bozika Yanterebo Saya, Rika Yanterebo Bozuka Yanterebo Saya, Rike Yanterebo Zuka Yanterebo Saya, Rika Yanterebo Bozike Yanterebo Zika, Rika Yanterebo Zuka Yanterebo Bosaya, Rika Labo Zenterebo Zuka Yanterebo Zika, Rika Labo Zenterebo Bozika Yanterebo Terebo saya, reka yan terebo bo zika yan terebo zika, rika yan terebo bo zika yan terebo bo saya, rike yan terebo zika yan terebo zika, reka yan terebo bo zika yan terebo saya, rika yan terebo zuka yan terebo saya, rika yan terebo bo zuka yan terebo saya, rika yan terebo zuka yan terebo zika. Maka zentere bobo sayam leka bro zentere bobo zuka yantere bobo saya rika yantere bobo zuka yantere bobo sika rika yantere bobo zuka yantere bobo sika leka yantara bobo zika yantere bobo saya reke yantere bobo zuka yantere bobo saya rika yantere bobo zuka yantere bobo saya rika yantere bobo zika yantere bobo saya Makaribo zeka yantere bobo zika Lika bro zentere bobo zika yantere bobo zaya Rika yantere bobo zuka yantere bobo saya Rika yantere bobo zuka yantere bobo zika Rika yantere bobo zuka yantere bobo saya Rika yantere bobo zuka yantere bobo saya Rika bro zentere bobo zika yantere bobo zaya Mako zentere bobo zika Zika yantere bo saya, for it is in Jesus' name. It is in Jesus' name that we pray and give thanks. Amen. Now, let's read Second Kings chapter two, verse nine. It says, "And it came to pass when they were gone over the, that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee.' And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit." Be upon me, Hallelujah! And we we know from uh, from the from the Bible that Elisha was able to perform at double uh, the miracles that Elijah did perform. So as we come to a close of this prayer meeting, 
I want us to ask God to give us, to increase his anointing upon our lives. So that after this Holy Ghost week, our lives, we are going to do that which we are not able to do before now. So I want you to ask God to increase his anointing upon your life. So that you can be able to do double even what you are, what you are not able to do before now. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask, Almighty Father, Lord God, for a double portion of your anointing, everlasting Father. Lord, we ask for the increase of your anointing, everlasting King of glory. Father, we ask, Almighty Father, for double portion of your anointing upon our lives, everlasting Father. Lord, we ask for a double portion of your anointing, everlasting King of glory. Father, increase the measure of your anointing upon our lives, everlasting Father. Even so that we may do, Almighty Father, Lord God, that which we are not able to do before now, O King of glory. We receive the double portion of your anointing, everlasting King of glory. Father, Lord, we thank you, everlasting Father, that from this evening, everlasting King of glory, we shall not remain, almighty Father, mere title bearers, everlasting Father, but by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, everlasting King of glory, we are going to do, O Jehovah, Lord God, even exploits, everlasting Father, by the reason of the increase of your anointing upon our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you this evening, everlasting Father, for we know, Almighty Father, that you have heard us, everlasting Father. Lord, we thank you, everlasting King of glory, for the fresh anointing upon our lives, everlasting King of glory. The anointing that is going to make us, Almighty Father, Lord God, even to do exploits for the kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name and we exalt you, for it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As we gather, may your spirit walk within us. As we gather, may we glorify your name. Knowing where that as us begin to worship, we'll be blessed because we can. Because we can, as we gather, as we gather, may your spirit walk within. As we gather, as we gather, may we glorify your name. Knowing where that as us begin to worship. We'll be blessed because we care. Oh, we'll be blessed because we care. Who's like unto thee? Oh, Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh, Lord, a man, a man. in praises doing wonders hallelujah among among the gods who is like thee you are glorious in holiness therefore in praises Do Hallelujah, tunakuabudu. 
Amen. O tunaku abudu. O alleluia tunaku abudu. Amen. Amen. Tunaku abudu. Alleluia tunaku abudu. Amen. O tunaku pasifa. O asaili tunaku pasifa. Amen. Amen. Tunaku pasifa. Alleluia tunaku pasifa. Amen. O tunaku pasifa. O bana yesu tunaku pasifa. Amen. Amen. Tunaku pasifa. Alleluia tunaku pasifa. Amen. Amen. I know liwe mungu wetu leo. I know liwe bana wa mabana. I know liwe. I know liwe mungu wetu leo. I know liwe bana wa mabana. Oh, I know liwe mungu wetu leo. I know liwe bana wa mabana. I know liwe. I know liwe mungu wetu leo. I know liwe. I have never seen your 
hule na milele amina milele na milele amina hallelujah if you can recall um, the theme of this holy ghost week is visible growth and uh, i want us to pray this night using acts chapter 19 verse 20 the bible says that so mightily grew the word of god and prevailed if you can hear what the spirit is speaking to us right now it's a time for us to grow hallelujah so i want us to pray asking god to give us what we are seeing in this what happened in the church in acts so mightily grew the acts of god so mightily grew the word of god and prevailed so we want to ask god to give us the grace to grow visibly hallelujah I want us to ask God to give us the grace to grow visibly in our individual lives, in our spiritual lives, in our finances. This is a new season that you are entering into. And if you are sensible, you can hear what the Spirit is telling the church. So let us pray asking God to give us the grace to grow visibly in every dimension of our lives. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for this season, everlasting Father. Lord, we thank you, everlasting King of glory, that you are giving us growth in a multidimensional manner in the mighty name of jesus father lord as it is recorded in the book of acts chapter 19 almighty father as a commission oh lord we pray that you may cause us to grow mightily almighty father cause us to grow mightily and prevail in this area in the mighty name of jesus father cause us to grow mightily and prevail in this nation in the mighty name of jesus father give us grace to grow almighty father mightily almighty father and prevail over the nations of the earth in the mighty name of jesus father lord this night you are asking for the nations in the mighty name of jesus father lord we are asking for mighty growth in the nations in the mighty name of jesus father lord we thank you for this season of visible growth everlasting king of glory for you are causing us to grow mightily in the mighty name of jesus father lord in our spiritual lives almighty father we thank you that you are causing us even to grow mightily almighty father and become spiritual giants in the mighty name of jesus father lord we are never going to remain small in the spirit everlasting father for it is the time for visible growth in the name of jesus father lord we ask visible growth everlasting father even almighty king of glory lord god in our finances everlasting king of glory father lord we ask for visible growth in our finances in the mighty name of jesus father in the name of jesus we ask oh lord that you may cause us to grow visibly in this season everlasting father lord as a commission beginning almighty father from this holy ghost week everlasting king of glory father lord we thank you that you are causing us to grow visibly in the name of jesus we are dominating this nation almighty father we are dominating the nations of the earth in the mighty name of jesus for our season for visible growth has come everlasting father lord we thank you that you are causing us to grow mightily everlasting father and to prevail everlasting king of glory father we are men of despised us oh lord we thank you that lord you are turning the tables around everlasting father and causing us to grow visibly in the mighty name of jesus father lord god where we have operated oh jehovah lord god below our capacity in the name of jesus we thank you that this is the season for our visible growth in the mighty name of jesus Lika raba zonto robo bo zika yante robo zaya reke zente robo zika yante robo zaya. Father, we thank you for causing us to grow mightily in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for causing us to grow mightily and to prevail in the name of Jesus. Father, we are not remaining small in the name of Jesus. Father, we refuse to remain small in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, for the season for us to grow visibly has come in the name of Jesus. Father, we receive the growth that you have for us in the name of Jesus. We break every 
barrier in the name of Jesus. We break every setback to our growth in the name of Jesus. Father, we enlarge our course to the east, everlasting Father. Lord, we enlarge our course to the west in the name of Jesus. Father, we enlarge our course to the north and to the south in the name of Jesus. For it is the time for visible growth in the name of Jesus. It is the time for visible growth as a commission in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that you are causing us to prevail over nations in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you, everlasting Father. Lord, we thank you for giving us, almighty Father, even the grace to grow visibly in the mighty name of Jesus. We shall not remain hidden, everlasting Father, but as lights, almighty Father, Lord God, in the world, we thank you that you are causing us to become, almighty Father, Lord God, even visible, almighty Father, for all men to see, almighty King of glory, to the glory and honor of your holy name, everlasting Father. We receive this growth in our families, we receive this growth in our finances, we receive this growth in our places of work in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this season of visible growth in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we bless your name and we exalt you, everlasting Father. For it is in Jesus' mighty name that we pray and give thanks. Amen. Hallelujah. Shout a believing hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. You're welcome to church. Please go ahead and have your seats. Uh, you are you're welcome to church uh, once again this evening. Uh, today is our third day of the Holy Ghost week. And uh, as we've been praying since Monday, even yesterday and today, we are preparing our hearts for what God is doing in our lives. And even from what the Spirit is saying, it is the season for our visible growth. So I want you to be expectant in your hearts. I want you to, I want you to have that expectation within yourself that this is the time for visible growth. Hallelujah. Amen. So today's the third day. The program is continuing from 6.30 to 8.30 every day up until Sunday. And we have the man of God, uh, Pastor Pastor Prince, Pastor Prince Obasika, from the, uh, who is the Deputy Continental Overseer of RCCG East Africa. So I want you that to prepare your heart so that even as it's coming, your heart will be open to receive what he has, what, what God is going to minister to him, to us through him in the mighty name of Jesus. And again, I want to urge you to please uh, welcome your friends, uh, welcome even people that you've not seen in church before now so that they can also partake of this blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. So I also want to remind you that uh, our weekly services normally hold from Sunday. We normally have our Kiswahili service from 7 a.m. So even those who are in the online, who, who join us uh, online, you are, you are welcome to join us from our Kiswahili service from 7 a.m. Then we normally have our inspirational service from 10 a.m. on Sunday. After that, we normally have our interactive Bible study uh, where we learn uh, deep uh, topics regarding God's Word. And this is also a platform for us to grow uh, in the knowledge of God's Word and even for us to be able to understand the Word of God deeply. Then after that, we normally have our supernatural service that holds from 12 to 2 p.m. every Sunday. Then our midweek services are normally on Tuesday where we have our Holy Ghost communion where we come and partake of the Lord's table. Remember, the Lord charged us to do this in remembrance of him. And as a, as, a, as a covenant that we have in this house is that as we partake of this communion, as we partake the Lord's body and the Lord's blood, divine health is our portion. And indeed, if you may observe over the, over the years, this actually has always been our, it has the covenant of good health and rather divine health has always been our portion. It's very rare that you may hear that somebody is sick among our members that you go to visit them in hospital. So that is just to show us that that covenant of divine health is indeed working for us in this ministry. So I just urge you to always show up on Tuesday so that you can partake of the Lord's table and so that you can also partake of the covenant of divine health. Hallelujah. Then on Thursdays, we normally have our interdenominational prayer riot where we come and riot in the spiritual realm. We pray vigorously we pray fervently during our thursday's meetings so i also encourage you to always show up and even for those who are in the 
uh, who are normally join us online using the Facebook platform and even the YouTube, you are always encouraged to join us for our Thursday interdenominational prayer riot. Hallelujah. Amen. Without uh, taking much time, I'll join me in welcoming our Father in the Lord, Apostle Eric. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou how great thou art Then sings my soul To thee How great thou art How great My soul, to do. How great thou art! How great thou art! Then sings my soul. As you pray here our prayers, lay your hands upon us. Thank you for this Holy Ghost week in our new auditorium, in the place that you have given to us. Be magnified. Let there be visible growth in our personal lives and in our numerical growth, in the numerical growth of this church. Let it be visible. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. You are welcome to church this evening. Um, take this seat in front of you so that all those coming to the back can now sit um, at the back while I teach the word of God. Today I want to teach and make you pray on the topic War Against Merry Go Round. The spirit of Merry Go Round. <laughs> merry Go Round is a situation that many people are passing through but they don't know. It looks like progress but it's not. I'll define it and then we'll begin to pray seriously against it. For example, when we moved from YMCA to Garden City, from Garden City to VMAC Restaurant, from VMAC Restaurant to YWCA, from YWCA to something mall, that was what they call Mary Gorans. <laughs> we moved. We were packing our bags every time, moving at no permanent destination. Each time, they will chase us away. That's what they call merry go But I'll define it well. Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 14. 
Deuteronomy chapter number 2, verse 14. Can your computer produce the scripture? Deuteronomy chapter number 2, verse number 14. The Bible says, And the space in which we came from Kedesh Barnea, what happened? Huh? It went off. If you can't produce scripture, just leave it alone. <laughs> because people are already listening to the message. The Bible says, And the space in which we came from Kedesh Barnea, until we were come over the brook Zerid, was thirty and eight years, until all the generation of the men of war were wasted out from among the host, as the Lord swear unto them. From the scripture that we read, Moses was given an account of when they got to a place called Kadesh Barnea. He said when they stayed there, they stayed there for 38 years. They were just moving around from Kadesh Barnea to Zarid. They were not entering into Canaan, neither were they going back to Egypt. They were just going around like that. If you check the map, the place is circular. They moved from Kadesh Barnea to Zarid, back to Kadesh Barnea, back to Zarid. That's what they were doing for 38 years. Remember, we've been dealing with 38 years. <laughs> Yesterday, and day before yesterday, 38 years, the man by the pool of Bethesda, he replicated Israel, 38 years. Now, they kept on moving around, moving around, until finally, the Bible says some people were wasted away. After the wastage of those people, then they moved forward. <laughs> One of the greatest things you need to notice about merry-go-round spirit is the spirit of wastage. Merry go round spirit. When that devil catches up with you, you will start turning around and turning around until you are wasted away. Now, merry go round spirit wastes your time, wastes your effort, wastes your wisdom, wastes your abilities, wastes your capabilities, wastes your life, wastes your money. It's a waste. Mary go down spirit. A spirit of wastage. The Bible says what they wasted 38 years moving around one area. Okay, let us come to our own story. World changers. When they chased us from YMCA and we moved to YWCA and from YWCA to, to Garden City Estate and from Garden City uh, to VMAC Restaurant Vimac restaurant to something mall. What success did we achieve? Nothing. Now what happened by the time we finally moved to Ngara, we have remained 17 members. So we about 300 members. In YMC, when we new tent team, we were counting 300 there about 250. There about. Yeah, some, uh, sometimes we are 350 self. Now, by the time we finally settled at Ngara, we were 17. <laughs> some people have run away. Some people have forgotten what you know. Some people have deleted our name from the register. After we settled at Ngara, the Sunday that followed, many people came. We were close to 150. The second Sunday we settled at Ngara, close to 150 people came. I thought, I was asking, so you have returned? They said, yes, we've returned. You are back? They said, we are back. That was the last day we saw all of them. They came to check whether we are still alive. What Mary Goran did to us was wasting of all those we've invested in, wastage of our members. Mary Goran's spirit. Are you following me, somebody? Now, let me break it down into pieces. This is when a person who has a destination misses his way and starts wandering. When somebody who has a destination misses his way and starts wandering. That's merry go round spirit. Number two, it is when one keeps going around like a blind horse, keeps going around in cycle like a blind horse. Merry go round spirit is when there is motion without progress. When there is motion without progress. When that 
point is very important. When there is motion, you are moving like this. You are thinking you are moving, but you are still in the same place. No progress. When there is motion without progress. When we wanted to build that small uh, shop where Pastor Grace's office is, we dug the place more than 10 times. It was the rainy season like this, I remember, last year. When they dug the place, they said we should wait for it to dry, then they will put the foundation stone. <laughs> Within three hours, water came out of the ground and everything they dug collapsed. We started afresh. They started digging it again. They dug it, almost finishing. Water came from the next compound underground and collapsed everything they dug again. They called me and said, there is a problem. Uh, the foreman said, maybe I need to come down and pray that this looks demonic. Because every, they would think it, it would fall back inside. So I returned. They told me they've not gotten to the depths of the other side. They need to redig it again. So I saw them digging and we gathered uh, Mukonos. They started digging. They started digging. Before they dug far, rain started falling. Before it, it, water was coming as if they pumped the water. Everything collapsed again. I had to enter inside there myself and started speaking to the stuff. Started prophesying. Started, I wore a boot, entered inside. So God gave me a wisdom and said, let them quickly dig to the depth that we need and locate the stone. So they started digging. So as they located the stone, I told them now, put in concrete, put the blocks, put in concrete, and water was coming. So my own duty was to pack uh, sand, block the water. They put in the stone, but then before the water moves away and removes all the things I've labored for, that's how we build that place. Because for like three, four days, they would dig it to be covered again, we'll start again. They would dig it to be covered again. So I was paying for labor every day without any progress. Merry go round is when you walk with no evidence to show. You walk with no evidence to show. This is when there is action without results. When you are caught up with merry go round spirit, your growth will never be visible. Never. It can never be visible. This is when your best is not enough to give you your desired result. When your best is not enough to give you your desired result. That's merry-go-round spirit. Again, what is merry-go-round spirit? It is when you go round and return back to where you started. Every time you go round. You go then you return back to where you started. That's what they call merry go round. Return back to where you started. Again, what is merry go round spirit? This is when one goes round and round without hitting the target. You are just roaming around. You came back without hitting target. It's merry go round. When nothing is achieved. You return back without hitting that gate. You are wasting time. Is it demon? It has attacked many people. You do everything. You make noise. People think you are arriving. But it... <laughs> but here they check you. You are far from arriving. In fact, you are as ugly as you were when you began the journey. That's what they call merry-go-round spirit. You know, when a young lady has a merry-go-round spirit, you see as you get engaged into a relationship, She'll be coming to church with her new boyfriend or fiancé. In fact, they will sit together. You see them, they will look at each other when service is going on. When they pass out down, they say, hmm. <laughs> they will jot it down. Amen. Preach it, pastor. Then after a while, they fizzle out. You see her praying for another person to come. That's what they call merry go round. And that happens two, three, four, five times. That's what they call merry go round. She's going around and she's not hitting the target. Nobody's marrying her. Many people are passing through it. When you have merry go round spirit concerning your job, you will apply for all jobs. In fact, you go for interview. In fact, when they interview, people are saying, wow, you are so nice, you are so good. But they never give you the job. Your merry go round spirit is just attending interview and speaking English. Every time you are reading, cramming things, when you get there, you are downloading points from everywhere. At the end, they clap for you and you go away and never get the job. 
That's what we call merry-go-round spirit. Merry-go-round spirit is when you see a repetition in your life. You go, you start a job. After you work for like one year, they sack you again. You start again, merry-go-round. You begin afresh. You prepare, prepare, prepare again. You start a job. You do the job. After one year, one and a half year, they sack you again. That's what we call merry go when you are just going around, nothing is permanent in your life. Everything is temporary. That is, me- no, your growth will not be visible. Though. Your, because by the time you go down again, you use all that you've labored for to start blocking all the deficits that occurred. You start selling your shoes and start selling the clothes you were using to go to work before because hunger is wiring your hair. Merry go down spirit. Merry go down spirit is when your efforts yields no breakthrough, it is merry go round spirit. When all your efforts yields no breakthrough, that's what they call merry go round spirit. What is merry go round spirit? This is when you keep returning to square one. No matter how you fly, you return back to square one. And you keep returning to square number one. What is merry go round spirit? This is when all your investments yield no profit. You invest and invest and you are expecting profit and suddenly they tell everything has disappeared. You start raising money to start business again. That's what they call merry go round spirit. What is merry go round spirit? This is when one always comes to the same spot after making attempts with great energy, with great persuasion, with great passion. You return back to the same spot where you started from. That's the call Mary go round spirit. Yeah. It's a demon dealing with you. What is Mary go round spirit? This is another form of stagnancy. Or the baptism name is retrogression. When you baptize it, I give it a new name. <laughs> it's called retrogression. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, merry-go-round destroys visible growth. It destroys it. It destroys visible growth. It makes visible growth not to be seen. It wastes your time, one. Wastes your effort. Wastes your ability. Wastes your wisdom. In fact, if you used to have honor before, the honor will fade. Merry-go-round spirit. It wastes honor. It with everything you labored for. In fact, what you have gathered before, you will use it to fund the merry-go-round. Because while they are moving around, you are spending things. And finally, you discover that you have wasted everything. It's the spirit of wastage. Let me show you scripture. Deuteronomy chapter number 1, verse 6 to 8. We are going to attack that spirit in this ministry. God has helped us concerning the building, concerning the other areas. But concerning our number, we are dealing with it, sir. No merry-go-round spirit in this church anymore. Once a member, forever a member, you settle down to serve God. We will not look for you anywhere. You will settle down. Not that after a while you start fornicating and backsliding. That's one of the things that the enemy have used to attack us in church. After a while, you now hear that this bros has gone to impregnate an idiot and is now swelling up. This other one has run away and she's now pregnant herself. There are many young people that joined us at some point. After a while, one got pregnant. In fact, that one got pregnant more than six times or five times. Over pregnancy was worrying her. And she would come and confess and say, Sir, I got pregnant. <laughs> that is a demonic spirit of Mary Goran attacking her. I will command the devil, Come on! She will jump up and hit the floor. And the devil will cry, ah, ah. The devil will get out. Give her another six months. She will disappear from church. By the time she finally appears, she is pregnant for another guy again. It's a demonic spirit. Of course, there are many others who are living straight. Yes, but that one, I won't forget that one. It's a merry go round spirit. She will come back again and say, I've returned. I'm very sorry, sir. I messed up. God, please forgive me. <laughs> and the devil will come again. That devil that takes you back to where you left is a merry go round spirit. Deuteronomy chapter number 1, verse 6 to 8 says, The Lord our God speak unto us in Horeb, saying, Ye have dwelt long enough in this mount. Turn you and take your journey and go to the mount of the Amorites 
and unto all the place night thereunto, in the plain, in the hills, and in the valley, and in the south, and by the seaside, to the land of the Canaanites, and unto Lebanon, and unto the great river, river Euphrates. Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and to their seed after them. Now listen, the Bible says, God said, you have dwelt here. You have moved around here for too long. We are tired of you here, sir. Move to where we promise your grandfather. Migrate. Turn you and take your journey. Turn. Stop moving around. Turn. Take either left or right. Stop moving around. You have dwelt here for too long. He says, leave this mountain and go to the mountain we promised you. This is not the one we promised you. Mary, go round spirit will keep you at a spot, making you turn around. Turn around. God says, you have turned around here too long. We, don't, we are tired of you here. Move. World changes have turned around at this junction for too long. It is time for God to cause visible growth. Anyone that will not, is not part of us, it's time for God to take them away permanently. Not those that will come and occupy space. After a while, they scatter everything again. May God pursue them away from here. In the name of Jesus Christ, only those that will be settled and grow visibly should remain here. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. Only members that will grow, that we can see visible improvements in their life, spiritually, physically, materially, should remain here. All those that are the same yesterday, today, and forever, they want to be a shadow in this church. May God say, May God send all of them away in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, there are some Esha dies. They don't change. They are very wicked people. They are permanently wicked. They don't change. People know them that this man is a very wicked uh, guy. If you touch him, he will be wicked to you. They have the services they come for. There's a man who told me one time, he said, I choose the activities I come for in church. And he said he wants to be a leader. Said, you cannot be a leader when you have a wicked heart. If you choose what you come for, then we don't need you here, sir. You come at instruction, sir. You don't come when you choose to. If you want to serve under in the ministry, you have to humble yourself and come when you are instructed to, not when you want to. If you want to do when you want to, you are not permitted here. You have a wicked, rigid heart. Stubborn, stiff-necked heart. Those that will be rigid, they don't grow. You will, you will see them, they are Ikeregbe. Sorry, Ikeregbe in Nigeria is <laughs> somebody like Zacchaeus, who is permanently short. Who is permanently short. I hope there's no problem. I would have loved everybody to settle down and hear the word of God and humble themselves. All this attack is a demonic attack. Stanford, why are you disturbing the church now? What's the problem? They want what? The person couldn't pack inside. Let the person pack outside. The word of God is already on. When, next time when I'm preaching, you don't walk somebody out of God's presence. It's an insult. It's a sign that you don't respect God. In the next few minutes, this service will close. She would have lost something because a late comer came. Am I correct? Stop that nonsense. This is your brain. Sir? You know who? Who is he? Yes. And let them use their brain to utilize the space because service is on. When service is on, let, see the reason why this church is set up because of this service. Minor this service, if they bring all those things and these people are not hearing the word of God.
level. Stop all this un unvisible growth. You are a liar before you came to church. You are still a liar now. It is merry go round spirit. You are a thief before you came to this church and you are still a thief. It means you have not grown. You are fornicating before you came to this church and you are still fornicating. Now you are even fornicating with holy men. And, uh, 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 <laughs> he's a demonic spirit. Are you hearing me, somebody? It is time for us to deal with merry go round spirit. See, now let me take it a bit deeper. You don't always have transport fare before you came to this church. Until now, you don't still have transport fare. Ah, God is your. It means God have not. It means God is not working in your life. Merry go round spirit always takes you back to the spot you were at the beginning before you started the journey. That's what it does. That is what it does. <laughs> takes you back to the spot. Takes you back to the spot. Makes you not to know what to value and what to value. Makes you not to know what to value and what to value. It's a merry go round spirit. Distracts you. You're on a journey. You're going to London. By the time you're on your way to the airport, you're going to their building Mombasa Road and you stop to start looking at the bridge. Ah! This bridge is mine, though. Ah! Oh, look at Jata. Eh? And I know Dinga. BBI. <laughs> and you're looking at the bridge until your flight takes off. It's a demonic spirit. Also. Distractions that keep you away from your destiny. It's, that's the spirit of the Lord. Unnecessary assignments that God never gave you. That's how it, come, it comes. Merry go round spirit. Merry go round spirit. It's a bad spirit. It makes a lady get pregnant and lose the baby. And start pregnancy again. She gets pregnant, lose the baby, and start again. There was a lady that used to come to this church. She had lost pregnancy eight times. Eight. Major. Eight times. When I entered into fasting on her mother and began to pray, I had spiritual attacks. I withstood the attack. She has three boys now. She named them after Otito Ekene and Ebude. <laughs> she named them after my children. I mean, eight times she'll get pregnant. Eight months, seven months, the baby will come down. I had to enter fasting and prayer to break the idiot devil that was tormenting her. Mary go down spirit. She's only pregnant every three months. Only pregnant. Everything the, the baby will flush out. She will carry seven months. The devil will attack her again. The baby will come out. She will start again after three months. She's pregnant again. For years, the age gap between her, her children and the last three is so wide because of merry go round spirit. Wastage, wastage, waste. They kept on wasting her time. She will give the go for injection, antinatal or prenatal. She will do the natal, 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 natal. Expecting the next thing, the baby is out. She starts again. That's what they call merry-go-round spirit. When you are always looking for a job every year, it's a merry-go-round spirit. You are always looking for visa every time. It's a merry-go-round spirit. Nothing is permanent in your life. There's nothing you can even fall back on. It's a merry-go-round spirit. We are going to fight it now. Rise to your feet. It is time to fight. It's time to fight. It's time to fight. It's time to fight. Thank you, Jesus. It's time to attack it. Every merry-go-round spirit attacking my destiny that doesn't want me to have any visible growth. Your time is up. I set you on fire now. I destroy you today. On your mat, say, oh yeah, fire prayer, fire prayer. Every merry-go-round spirit that doesn't want my growth to be visible Catch fire now. I set you on fire. Somebody fire the prayer where? I set you on fire. Iko tu kapra kadoshe galuza. Mazeka na gada 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 ba. Oriya kana gaba kadoshe galuza. Oreka na gada 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 ba. Isa gala gada gada ba. Maroka ta kapra kadoshe galuza. Isa gala gada gada ba. Eka ta kapra kadoshe galuza. Oreka na gada 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 ba. Catch fire! Catch fire! Every merry go round spirit attacking my destiny that does not want God to be visible in my life. I command it to catch fire. Somebody command it to catch fire. Oh yeah, catch fire! I say catch fire. Oh yeah, catch fire! Oh yeah, catch fire! 
to reduce me to a one dollar. I don't know whether police is arresting for wandering. In Nigeria, they arrest you for wandering. <laughs> when they see you pass, and they see you pass again, the next thing, they say, hey, hey, come, here, come here. Hey, come on, move here. If you ask them, what did they say? Wandering. <laughs> I'm telling you, they will handcuff you like a robber. Take you. You can be there for years. And your offense is what? What? <laughs> hey, yes, they used to do it in Kenya. They used to do it on the 31st of December. <laughs> I remember when they came to, when they called she, <laughs> he said he was going to shave his beard. And he passed. One person said, hey, wait, wait, go jump, come on, hey. And they held him. They put him inside the New Year. Day. <laughs> so he can do his New Year in prison. So you can, so you can vomit everything they, 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 they ask him to bring. Wandering. So wandering is an offense. Merry go round spirit reduces you to a wanderer. Every time they, you, you're always at the corridor of looking for a job. They say, hey, the wanderer has come again. Every, they'll be expecting you. This is December. You will soon come. The next thing you have appeared with your file heavy. <laughs> You present it again. <laughs> Very heavy file. They have. <laughs> Why are you here? Uh, job none. The next year again, they're expecting you. will soon come. That's what they call merry go round spirit. Always going back, wondering. You will command that devil to leave you. Lift up your right and say, In the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of wandering that is not allowing my growth to be visible as I begin to pray now. Touch fire! Fire the prayer! In this short, we command you to touch fire! We command you to touch fire! Mareka Panda Leta Doshe Garusa! Ozeke Lega Dega Lega Doshe Garusa! Oriata Lega Baga Doga Doga! Mazeka Lega Dega Lega Doshe Garusa! Ozeke Lega Dega Lega Doga Doga! Ike Lega Dega Lega Doshe Garusa! Ozeke Lega Dega Lega Doga Doga! I set you on fire today. I set you on fire now. I set you on fire right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I command you to catch fire. I order you to catch fire. I 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 catch fire. Mareka Lodera, Ika Toko Brother Doshe Garusa, Mareka Londe Lete, Ika Lodera Dereha. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm going to deal with that same spirit, attacking it from this angle, the spirit of motion without progress. Motion without progress. We, we are in YMCA. We have gone to YWCA. We are now in VMAC restaurant. We have gone to this and that one. At the end, no progress. We are still renting. We are still losing members. That's what they call merry-go-round spirit. Motion without progress. They see you always coming out of the house, going to work. But there's no sign to show that you went to work. No change of shoe, no change of clothes, no land, no car. You are the same. Making motion without progress. Every day you wake up in the morning, you make noise, you pray, and there's nothing to show that you prayed. Making motion, action without manifestation. Are you following me, somebody? Uh, that's the comedy go around spirit. You are around, but your presence does not matter. <laughs> you, you are not heavy. In fact, if you don't come, say, nobody will remember. 
That's what they call merry go round spirit. Motion without progress. You are leaving me today. It makes growth not to be visible. You are still localized in one corner. That thing must die. Lift up your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of merry go round. Giving me motion without progress. Die now. somewhere but they don't pay me i just i don't want to die before my time sitting down thinking so i decided let me be doing something so i do volunteer job at the end of the month he's still hungry he can't pay rent that's what they call merry go round action without result <laughs> imagine somebody who goes to school but not a student when we were in school there were some people like that they always come in. They won't join assembly. <laughs> then they enter class. Then they run out. They go to the field to play. They, our field is very big. They go to one place. They call it Angola. Sorry, there's one part of our school. One field. They have broken the fence. So students used to sneak out from there. They will go to Angola, play from Angola. They will go out of the school. And when their parents are going to visit, they will come back from Angola. <laughs> they will appear in class. You would think they are students, they are not. In university, there are many people like that. I remember in Unilag, when I used to go and see somebody in Unilag, some people were, in, in fact, they used to collect money for hostel, collect school fees, but they were not students. They deceived their parents that they were students. When she was here, and he was going to school in uh, MKU. I remember one time I went to check him in MKU. And the lecturer told me to sit down. He said, thank you for training this boy to be like this. He said, because there was a certain child that they brought from Nigeria. He had been rusticated from this school, but he was collecting school fees. He said, the parents came for graduation. It was on the graduation day they knew he was not a student. <laughs> On graduation day, they came, they were well dressed. In fact, they lodged in hotel. They came for like two days. They were roaming around the school. So they wore a bagger in Nigeria. They were very happy that their son was graduated. They entered campus and sat down. It was when they were mentioning names. The name of the boy was not mentioned. The boy had been telling them lies. Until that, they went to you know, you know, when I was in the University of Nairobi and they were doing graduation, I remember there were many Wangui, 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 Wangui. Everyone in Wangui, they were mentioned names. Wangui, 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 whatever. Everybody, one, 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 one. I said, okay, fine. Finally, it became my turn. <laughs> I don't know. There are many Wangui in this, uh, in Kenya. Wangui, 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 everything. The, the parents are waiting. They didn't mention the boy. The boy, how far? The boy said, oh, man, I'm a student. They don't get high. Follow us. They dragged him. Sir, you didn't mention the name of the son. They checked the register. 
He's not a student in this school. The father fainted. Mary go around. They've been paying school fees. Paying hostel money. He will tell them he needs it enough for a project. He will, they will send it. He will tell them they need to travel to go and check Mombasa. He will, they will need to go and check uh, Uru Kenyatta. They will give them <laughs> he will him money. He will, they said they want to do excursion. They want to do practical. They want to do proposal. They were spending money. The guy was eating money, running up and down. They said sometimes the guy will travel to Uganda. And he will tell them it's his school. They said sometimes the guy will travel to Rwanda. He will go to South Africa. He will come back and claim with the student until the day of graduation. That's when they knew he was not a student. Are you following me, somebody? May God not allow you to have action without result. You will call, eh, tell God to delete it from your life. It, this, okay, fine. They are expecting him to graduate. He didn't graduate. It destroys visible growth. Action without result destroys visible growth. Lift up your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of action without result. Following me. Touch Ayana. Clap your hands on fire. The prayer. Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Every spirit of action without result. Touch fire in this church. I set your fire. Recadent the lebregatoshit. Every spirit of action without result. Catch fire. Catch fire. Now. 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 I command the spirit of action without result to catch fire. I say catch fire. In my life, in this ministry, spirit of action. name we pray Mary go round spirit is when you start a journey and you return back the way you left <laughs> you didn't hear me you return back the way you left you return back to the same spot you left no change no improvement no addition <laughs> hey what nonsense is that? Hey. Lift up your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. I will not return the way I left home. The way I left home. I will not return. I will return better than I left home. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that wants me to return. The way I left home, catch fire now, catch fire, I will not return the way I left home, I will not return the way I left home, I will not return the way I left home, my father, my God, me on it, the people show up, I refuse to return the way I left home, in the name of Jesus, I will not return the way I left home. you go around without hitting the target. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, ma'am. When you move around the world and you don't hit the target, you are a wasted commodity, sir. It's a waste of time investing in you. Move around without hitting target. Gomburukun is a bad thing. When there's a target for you to hit and you never hit it, will you succeed? Imagine there's a goalpost. 
and you and you and you dribble. There's one guy in Nigeria that used to do that. His name is JJ Okocha. He will dribble your grandfather, dribble your grandmother, dribble. He can dribble, sir. He will dribble, he will hit the ball up. In fact, you'll be coming, he will put the ball in your toros. <laughs> you don't have to do that. I don't know where you learned this from. Everybody, you are coming, he will put it in your toros. He will cross again, you will catch him. But when he gets to the goalpost, he will put it over the back. <laughs> and then, and he will start laughing. And he will start laughing. One day they warned him. They told him they would deal with him like a scoba. You, you lose the game, they will beat the hell out of you. I mean, he will dribble you. Drip. You can't you just put it under your leg. Bah. By that you thought he has done. He will do that to like seven people at a go. That's the way he behaves. He will dribble you, dribble. He's, he has one ball leg like that. You'll be laughing while he's dribbling your grandfather. Dribbling, dribbling. Then finally, when he gets to the front of the goal, like this, if I will dribble the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper will fall off. He will not put the ball over. <laughs> In fact, at some point, they called him the man that gives us entertainment football. He dribbles people on, in fact, entertaining you with football. He will dribble, dribble. People will fall down and will be rolling. He will dribble the hell out of you. But he will never score. So they called him entertainment football. He's entertaining everybody. May you not be an entertainer. Amen. When you don't hit your target, you're an entertainer. You're only wasting time. You are an entertainer. Entertainment football. Are you following me, somebody? Imagine you are supposed to hit target of one million and you come home with 20 shillings. <laughs> when you don't hit your target, you are doing merry go round. Okay, for example, I just announced while I was rebuking Stanford. The target of this ministry to teach the word of God like I'm doing now. To preach. Not to build the monumental building and say, wow, that church is powerful. And there are no meetings going on here. A cinema house will be better than this place. If no meeting is taking place for people to be blessed. Are you following me, somebody? A cinema house is better. It's better for us to Kukuma be doing film. So we will gather and take ticket and be watching. At least we will get money from ticket. Are you following somebody? When a church is there and it's not hitting target, what is the target of a church? Ministry to souls. For example, on Friday, we're going to move around, invite people everywhere. Saturday, we'll do the same. When we cannot do that, it's a useless church. There's no need for it. The building where they should be doing, where they should be doing. I don't know what they should be doing there. Maybe you will rent it for wedding. It will not be so here in Jesus' name. You must hit targets. In life, you must do what? Hit targets or else you are the merry go round. I came to Kenya not to check how many bridges you have. In fact, we have more bridges in Kenya than in Nigeria than Kenya. Yes, yes, yes. I think come here to count the bridge and say, hey, bridge number one, Westlands. Another bridge they are building in Mombasa Road. Another one in Bypass. Forget the nonsense. That's not what I came here to do. I came here to hit. That's why you see me hitting target here. Are you understanding me? I came here to hit target. Minister to souls, transform lives. Change the landscape of the place. Not uh, coming here to tell stories and then uh, I, 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 uh, when they say all the men of God that came went to Kenya, come out. All of us will not come out with long, long stomach. They are not like, not like that. What did you achieve? Nothing. You never be my portion. Are you hearing something? And they say, what did you achieve in Kenya? I say, eh, we tried our best. What nonsense best is that one? And there are no lives that are changed. Nothing changed in the landscape that you showed up. No, 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 no. You are not hitting target. Listen carefully. God has sent you to places to hit what? Targets. You are inside that company to do what? Hit target. If you are not hitting target, you are a failure. You are doing merry-go-round. Are you following somebody? I am here to hit target, sir. As I see me very strict and serious with my assignment. You cross your bounds, I clear you by thunder, sir. Because I'm here to meet, hit the target. How many of you used to see those things? That, the darts they used to put on the wall. And they see people throwing, throwing to hit the target. The target is the middle point. Am I right? If you hit other places, you are a failure. Hit the point. The main point. Hallelujah. Praise God. Are you hearing me, somebody? Mary Goran Spirit will prevent you from hitting the point. You'll be hitting the periphery. You'll be hitting where you should not hit. When God has put you in the headquarters, 
What are you doing in the boys' quarter and the servant quarters? Those quarters do not fit you. You are going to fire prayer. From today, I will be hitting target. I command Mary Goran's spirit to get out of my life. Every power that doesn't want me to hit target, catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire the prayer! Every power that does not want me to hit target, you are a failure. You are a failure. You are a failure. You are failed. You are failed. I will hit the target in the name of Jesus Christ. I will hit the target by the power of God. I will hit the target. We are going to set it. I will hit the target of the ministry God called me into in the mighty name of Jesus. I will hit the target of the assignment God has given to me. I will hit the target of my destiny. I reject Mary God and spirit. I command that way to get out of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive power to hit the target. I receive power to hit the target. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jose Kelega Bregado Shekadusa, Oriya Kelega Bregado Shekadot, Maro Kelega, Jose Kelega Bregado, Oriya Kelega Bregado. I hit the target of my destiny. I hit the target of my life. Jose Kelega Bregado. Utilize all effort, put in all effort without hitting the breakthrough. Imagine if we are raising money, raising money, raising money, and finally we couldn't buy the land. By now, that will not be watching that. Who don't work? You that pastor is a thief, umbafu pastor. I will walk away. So we raise money, raise money. Every time you tell us we are now one million, we are now two million, we are three million. We are only raising five million. Then when he got to four thousand four hundred and fifty, four point five million, we didn't know what happened to the money. Now I say we are now in two million. Later I say we are now in one million. Later I say there's more, more money. Excuse me, let us go. <laughs> when there's no breakthrough. When you labor, 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 and there's no breakthrough, you put in on efforts. We put in effort. We put in effort. finally we got the land. We we're happy. We came here. We saw the land. We were excited. We we're happy. Then God said, it is time to move. We started putting effort. The efforts are showing. Excuse me, sir. When your effort yields no breakthrough, that's what they call merry-go-round. Your growth will not be visible. Nobody will see it. The effort you are putting and showing, true or false, it is visible. Even blind people are seeing it. That ah, ah, The efforts are showing here. That's how your life is supposed to be. When they look at your life, they see the efforts you put in life. When the effort you put is not visible, it is a demon. It's called merry-go-round spirit. Eh? Hallelujah. Praise God. You are going to deal with it. Every devil that will not want all my effort to yield breakthrough, catch fire now. Every effort I put in must yield a breakthrough. I must enter the other side. Fire the prayer wherever you are. I must enter the other side. I must cross over to the other side. I must cross over to the other side. All my efforts must yield breakthrough. All my efforts yield breakthrough. My effort will not be wasted. My effort will not be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus' name we pray. 
you will not return back to square one. As it's called Mary Go Round Spirit. I told you the story of one man that I used to know in my village. We used to call him Uncle America. As in the man, every time you greet him, he will start telling the story of America. When I was in New York City, every time you greet him, ah, Mzi, how are you? Hey, how are you? Have you been to New York City? When I was in New York City, <laughs> every time you greet him. I don't know whether he's alive or dead now. He should be dead because that's a long time. Every time you see him, then he will take his bath. He likes taking his bath. You know he has taken it because his hair will be fresh. Everything will be clean. <laughs> you will know when somebody has not taken his bath. This guy takes his bath very well. Then he will wear one polo shirt and shorts. Then he will wear long socks. The socks reach here. And he will wear one shoe. He will now begin to walk up and down. He will visit. The entire, the, my grandfather had a street in our village. Named after, in, with our son name. You will see him. He will greet everybody from house to house. He will stay in some places for a few minutes. Some for 31 hours. When he's talking to him, when I was in New York City. I did this and in New York City. What happened to him? He lived in New York, prospered, became a big man. When the spirit of Mary Goran attacked him, they deported him with newspaper. He came back to the village with what? Newspaper. New York Times. That's the name of the newspaper. It's very long. You know, the new U.S. newspaper used to be very long like this one. He came with it. When you talk too much, you show you New York Times. Everything he labored for disappeared in America. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Uh, go and show your mommy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. May God remove Mary Goran's spirit from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. He returned back to square one. He left from the village. He returned back to the village. Ah. See, when you are, even if you are going to return to the village, why don't you return and affect the village? Are you understanding me? Why don't you return and do what? Affect the village. Build some powerful house. Build a powerful supermarket in the village. Change the village to a city. Let it be that people say, ah, when this guy traveled, when he came back, look at the hospital he built. Look, look at the schools he built. The guy returned back to the mud house of his grandfather. With New York Times. It will never be your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will come again the spirit of returning back to square one. Oh yeah, catch fire. That spirit of returning back to square one. Catch fire now. I will not be a victim of you anymore. Fire, prayer, whatever you are. I command that spirit of returning back to square one. Always returning back to where I left. Oh yeah, catch fire. I set you on fire. Catch fire now. It can talk of the Doshi Ganusa. Maloka talk of the Goroba. It could talk of the Goroba. I command it to catch fire. It could talk of the In this church, we will not return back to square one. We will never return back to square one. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we will not return back to square one. It can talk of the Doshi Ganusa. Maroka Lega 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 we will not return back to square one. That devil that wants us to always return back to square one. Numerically, catch fire! 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. The good thing about praying is prayer works. I am a living evidence that prayer works. Hmm? It works. <laughs> you will deal with the spirit of no profit. I am investing, but no profit. You invest in people's lives. They will not say thank you. The demonic spirit. You help people. 
They claim not. And they go away. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. When you're not sure, it looks like you have not helped anybody. People use you. And there's no profit in your own life for being used. Use your wisdom. Use your knowledge. Use your understanding. Please make sure you're not like that. Because once you're a man, so that shall he reap. Don't you use people. When people are used by God to favor you, appreciate them. Appreciate them seriously. So that when God uses you for people, they will appreciate you too. Are you seeing? See, when you do everything and your life brings no profit, it is merry go round. And you look at your life and say, ah. See, that's why many people commit suicide. That's why many people come in. When they look at their life, look at their, there's no profit coming to their life. People have used all the goodness and mercy in them, but no, none for them. They wonder, why am I alive? There was a time they sent some 10 multi billionaires all over the world, came together and had a meeting. 10 years later, all of them committed suicide. Why? Because they gave employment to many people and they think nothing is affecting them positively, so they decided to die. Are you hearing me? Merry good and spirit makes you look at your life and there's no profit to you. Your life has no value added. That spirit that makes you labor, labor, labor without profit is a merry go round spirit. Command it to get out of your life. Spirit of merry go round. Your time is up. You make me labor without profit. Every time I return back to where I came from, every time I return back to square one. No profit in my life. Catch fire on your mark. Say fire the prayer. Spirit of no profit. Spirit of no profit. Attacking my destiny. Catch fire. Catch fire. I set you on fire. I set you on fire today. Somebody pray that prayer well. My life will gather profit. My life will have profit. My life will make profit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He can talk of Logodo Shogadusa, Mazoka Lagaragraba, He can take up Logodama. My children will make profit on earth. This ministry will be profitable in the name of Jesus. He can lap Lagado Shogadusa, or Laka Lagado Shogadata, He can Lagada Lagado Shogadusa, or Laka Lagada. My life will be profitable. This ministry will be profitable. In the mighty name of Jesus. appear at the same spot. When you go, you come back at the same spot. That's the same spirit. Merry go down spirit. Same spot. For example, when you move, do all the talk, you remain a tenant. When you were 10, you, your father was a tenant. When you were 20, you were squatting with somebody who was a tenant. When you are 30, you are a tenant. At 40, you are a tenant. 50, you are a tenant. 60, you are a tenant. 70, 90, you are still a tenant. It's the same that spot. I started fighting that devil. We were renting. Year one, world changers, we rented. Year two, year three, year four, year five. Ah, ah. When we got to year eight, I said enough is enough. Eight is number of new beginning. Let renting stop. And I made up my mind, renting must stop. Renting, you have stopped. I began to attack it. I started praying. I entered fasting. I started traveling. Every dime that came into my hands was for us to get land. Every shilling. I started disciplining myself. No excesses. No extra this. No extra that. Everything must be put down. Enough is enough. I must not return at this spot of always renting. At the end of the month, we pack all 
and give the landlord. At the end of the month, we park the same spot. Every time there's an announcement, uh, today we will need some more money to pay rent. I and my wife and family, we are going to give 100,000. Every month I was not giving 100,000, 150,000. We need more money. We need more. Ah, bah! In spirit of Mary go round. Same spot. I think some people now know that period from 10 to 20th. They won't come to church again. <laughs> it's that's that, was that when you don't used to come to church? <laughs> from that, I'm telling you that season church will be empty you don't need to notice from that 10 to 20 to that, you see that people will be disappearing from church the, the, all the days I used to arrest people and say now today we are going to pay rent you, you discover that there used to be like few people in church that period you how much are you bringing if I tell you she will go and say I want to go and consult Dennis she will never come back until service is over until service is over Dennis will tell me he's praying about it. He'll get back to me after consulting heaven. Everybody will just be saying their own. Everybody. And God will answer us. Next month again. The other month again. We did that for five years. Until God removed us from that chapter. I don't even know when I remember the rent last. Rent of where? <laughs> rent of where? We have rooms to use anywhere. When we wanted to finish building here, we moved to the rooms there. The rooms there were tight. Now we have, big, this one is bigger than the other ones there. there there's another one up again there. We can you any room, sir. When the, as the people are starting that floor down, when we enter the over room, is worrying us. We have overflow, overflow. Sha, what happened? I decided we're not going to return back to the same spot. You're going to command that devil that drags you back to the same spot. Die this night. You spirit that always takes me back to the same spot that I've left, that I've said bye bye, I command you to catch fire. Fire the prayer in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that returns me back to the same spot. Die! Every spirit that returns me back to the same spot. Every spirit that returns me back to the same spot, I command you to die. I set you on fire. I order you to expire. I will never return back to the same spot. I will never return back to the same spot. Is a Ganagarava, a Kataka Prakato Shagarusa, or Yakanaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganaganagan
At 50, they are putting pampas on you. Pampas. What version? Next. Give me another version. That is what happens when Christians are doing merry go round. When they should become teachers, they are still sitting down. They, when you rebuke them, they, they swell up. They swell up because they have not grown. NLT says, You have been believers for so long now that you ought to be teaching others. Instead, you need someone to teach you again the basic things about God's word. You are like babies who need milk and cannot eat solid food. Another version, another version, another version. No, another version. Message says, by this time you ought to be teachers yourselves. But here I find you need someone to sit down with you and go over the basics on God again. Starting from square one, baby's milk, when you should have been on solid food long ago. When you pass through merry-go-round, where you should be giving people transport fare, you are still begging for tuk-tuk money. When you should be the one giving people accommodation. I have a flat there. You can stay there free of charge. Or you can stay. You are the one begging for house rent. When you should have, your life should have changed. Are you following me? When you should be telling people now. I, I have some five clothes that I can dash you. Uh, they are very good clothes. I wore them once or twice. You can wear them. And the people are wearing they are thanking God. But you are the one saying, please, if you have any used clothes... Hey, you can just uh, help me. Uh, we have an occasion in our church. It's called visible growth. <laughs> they say, Pastor Prince of is coming. So that I will know we are clothes and they will think it's uniform. Please uh, just uh, help me with any clothes that you have. There is someone they reported to me. They said, you must not remove your shoe and put it down. You will pretentiously wear it and go out. And leave one stupid shoe for you. You only wake up in the morning and say, ah, who took my shoe? Who he has worn it deliberately. Then he calls back in there and says, sorry, it was by mistake. I thought it was my own. He does that regularly. Because he should have outgrown wearing that shoe. He should have had his own shoe. But poverty had reduced him. Mary Goran's spirit had reduced him to always looking for people's shoe to wear. Since he doesn't have any good shoe. How is your life? Merry go round spirit makes you remain a baby for life. Always returning back to square one. When you should be the one blessing people, people are still, you are still begging to be blessed. See, I made up my mind a long time ago. I will not be the one in these shoes. So I grew. Do you know that growth in Christianity can happen in a moment when you make up your mind that I will never be a baby again? That's all. Just grow. I made up my mind, I will not be the one begging for transport, begging for things. And God lifted me immediately. I made up my mind, I will not be the one that people are scolding, say, Eric, God, could you, could you, why did you do that? Why? Oh, you kneel down, raise up your hand. Me. It will never happen to me. I made up my mind. I will never be there. Then they say, oh, yeah, raise up, face the wall, face the wall. I said, do you know my age? He said, shut up. You're not behaving your age. <laughs> I face the wall, and I raise up your hand. I said, hey, don't do that again. We are carry block, carry block. I made up my mind as a child. It was the, you don't punish me for what? My father knew that every assignment they give me, I don't just do it well. I do it extraordinarily well. I, I, at, at the point I gave my life to Christ, it was difficult to punish me because I, knew, I did things better than anybody else. When I started working, I started working in the church at the age of 16 or so, 17. I started working as the staff of the church at the church clerk. Pastor Charles told you guys, when they give me assignment, I like doing my things very early so I can have enough time to polish it up, make it fantastic that when I present it, you'll be trembling. And that's how I worked in the church. No error. I believe in doing my work until you are thanking God you met me, sir. Because I made up my mind, I hate to rebuke. I hate to be rebuked. I say, come here, come here. You're a stupid boy. A very stupid. And Pastor Charles, he, he used to speak his own English in a powerful way. He would even stress it. I remember one day I made one mistake. The day he ever insulted me was the day I made one mistake. He traveled. I don't know whether he went to US or UK. He came back with clean money. Nigerian Naira. Notes. Very clean. So all the staff in the church, he was giving them money. He would count like 10 pieces. He would give them. He count. So when I was the last person he gave money to, he counted the fresh notes. 
and he gave me. I made the mistake of my life. I started counting it back in his presence. If you do those two, you better don't do it again. I, he gave me the money. He was not owing me. It was just a gift. It was not dash. I was supposed to thank him, put it in my pocket, and maybe go and count in my house. I started counting it in his presence. Sure, sure, sure. By the time I counted like five, something reminded me you have messed up. <laughs> something just told me you have goofed. Did, is this man owing you? No. Is he paying you money that is owing you? No. Why are you counting it in his presence? I saw him frown his face. I knew child. I couldn't continue the county. I was not holding the money. I was shaking. Ah. When I stopped, he said, how much is the money? I was trembling, sir. He said, am I owing you? I said, no, sir. He said, why are you counting the money in my presence? Why you expect me to give money? I said, no. So you are trying to check whether the amount was enough or complete. I couldn't answer. He said, you are very stupid. <laughs> I'm telling you. He said, you are there. <laughs> I mean, he stressed it. Even me, I could not say no, sir. You are very stupid. Leave my sight. I gave you money as gifts. You are counting it in my presence. To check whether the money was enough. When I left there, I swore I will never do this. I will never enter this trap again. My life. What, what happened to me? It will never repeat again in my life that I will embarrass myself in public. You are very stupid. It will never happen. So I grieved that day. And from that day till now, it never happened again. What's your name? Uh, Brother Sanford. From that day till now, it never happened again. So when you do things and they are scolding you, they say you've not grown. When you do things and they are punishing you, they are suspending you, the sign that you have not grown, God cannot depend on you. It's a merry-go-round spirit. When you do things and they are arresting you and they are sending police to come and arrest you, ah, it's a bad thing. And they're sending law enforcement agents to come and lay you. And be waiting when you pass, they not jump out to catch you. Don't ever do such things. The Bible says we need to move from being babies to being adults. And when you ought to be teaching others, they are still teaching you. They are still teaching you. You are supposed to be an oracle of God. But now you need somebody else to lay hands on you. And then and then you are not shaking, you are not shaking. And you say, Yeah, they've not laid hands on me. They need to anoint me oil. When you are the one that should be anointing others with oil. Your level in Christianity. Merry go round spirit will always reduce you to a baby. You will just go around. You are still the same. You came to church a liar, you are still a liar. Up until now. You came to church a thief. Now you are an anointed thief because they've been anointing you regularly. You ate communion to be a, a more dangerous thief. Up until now, you have not changed. You have not become responsible enough to say, No, I need to get to church early. I need to put things in order. I need to do this and that one. And uh, yeah, yeah, even as something from church, when, they, when it's church time, you switch off your phone. They're not calling you. You're you a baby. You, see, you have not grown. Yeah. After service, you now put on your phone. You, 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 somebody will tell you you're very smart. You know you're very smart. <laughs> you, you, you suggest that apostle will not call you. Hey, Mumu. It is time for us to grow out of being this merry-go-round spirit. Become very responsible. Take the bull by the hand. Become an adult in the spirit realm. Take responsibilities. Cho get to church and choose what to do. I'm going to make sure the place is clean. I'm going to sweep. I will make sure this and that one happens. Begin to behave responsibly. The way you see, whenever you come here, one new thing has happened. Another, who taught me what to do? Which of you were coming to the apostle? Put the glass. Did anybody tell me? If I could grow, my brain is working. What happened to your own brain? Yes. Did any of you tell me, Apostle, do the floor? Paint it. Did any of you? I woke up and I knew, no, this must have happened today. That's the same way you should grow and be responsible. Hallelujah. Praise God. May Mary go and spirit not hold you anymore. May you not need milk when you should be the one feeding 
other babies with milk. In the name of Jesus Christ. What it means when you should be a mother, you still need somebody to now play with you like a baby and give you my baby milk. Uhuru Kenyatta's milk. I want you to pray. Rise to your feet. The last prayer point. One of the good things that God answers prayer. This one he will answer. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray. I will never go back the, to the things I've left. There are things I have outgrown today. I grew them permanently. Now listen. Pray. You outgrow poverty. Cha, you didn't hear me. All those looking for transfer it will never happen to you again. You outgrow rent. God told us that if we come to this area, we shall become landlord. Am I right? I outgrow rent payment. I am now a landlord. Are you hearing me? I outgrow begging. I outgrow lack. There will never be a day they will say I didn't come to church because of no transport. It will never happen to me again. On your mind, said, Oh, yeah, I'll grow some things. I'll grow them. I'll grow them. I'll grow them. I'll grow them. I'll grow demonic oppression. I'll grow poverty. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'll grow lack. I'll grow what? I'll grow begging. I'll grow penury. In the name of Jesus. Receive the anointing to outgrow things. Receive power to outgrow. Outgrow begging. Outgrow lack. Outgrow want. Outgrow shame. Outgrow disgrace. Outgrow rebuke. Outgrow being scolded. In the name of Jesus. Receive grace to outgrow. Receive grace to outgrow. I decree from henceforth, no more merry go round. You will not return back to where you left. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will keep making progress. You will keep getting better. And better and better and better. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will never regret your life. I see you making progress. I see you doing well. All the days of your life. It shall be well with you. Fear voice on your head. Fortune is landing in your hands. It is well with you. Thank you father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Let's get our offerings, give our offerings, and begin to run back home. If you notice that you cannot go home, relax in the church. There's enough place to relax. Then you go in the morning. And then if your house is not around here, it's not five minutes, maximum ten minutes drive around here. Your house is too far. Your house is too far. Get your house around here. That's what God told us. So that you just walk into church and go back home. Let's get our offerings. Let's give our offerings and begin to run back home. Those that need to stay, stay. Hallelujah. Praise God.
Go ahead, send in your offering through the pay bill. Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you for everyone giving their offerings now. Let every giver be thoroughly blessed. Let every giver swim in plenty in the name of Jesus Christ. Glorify your name in our lives. Honor your word that all seed will give back to harvest. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. If you ask yours physically, you can drop it in the basket in front of you. Let's be on our feet. Tomorrow I'll get into ministrations because there is a place of the anointing. That's one thing God helped me. There's a place for us to pray and there's a place when you release power from on high. Remember I told them, I have taught you the Bible, I've shown you everything, but remain in Jerusalem until what? Until you receive Power from where? From on high. So all that you know is not enough. You need an anointing from above. That's one edge God gave me. Sir. It makes life work for me. Sir. It makes me see supernaturally. It makes me enter the other side that is not too available to everybody. So tomorrow I'll get down into ministration. Yes. Before I don't know, I used to pray and ask God to just help me. But now God has taught me I can switch on the anointing and to come on, sir. And the next thing, the power of God takes over. It has brought me a lot of progress. It has helped me to succeed. It has given me access to nations, sir. I'm telling you the truth. Nations. Yes, sir. By the grace of God. It has given me access to the wealth in nations also. So, tomorrow we'll get into the anointing realm. I will switch on the power of God. And the power of God will flow. The power of God will sort your destiny out. It move you from stagnancy. Take you away from merry-go-round. Push you forward. Where there will be both action and progress. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your hands. I release grace upon you. Let fresh grace rest upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, do well. Let that anointing rest upon you. From today, no more, <clears throat> no more merry-go-round. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will make tangible progress. Visible progress. That all eyes can see. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. As we share the grace, come. I will just touch your hand like that. Tap you at least. You collect something. Let Mary go round spirit get out of your life. Begin to hit the target. You've already come. Wow, that is very sharp of you. You are blessed. Uh -huh. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I said I would tap people's hand. He quickly came up. So he understood that one. Open your hand, Daddy. Do your hand like this. Two of your hand. <laughs> your hand, like this. Two. The other one, like this. See grace. No more merry go round. No more merry go round. In the name of Jesus, no more merry go round. 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 In the name of Jesus, no more merry go round. No more merry go round. In the name of Jesus, no more merry go round. No more merry go round. In the name of Jesus, no more merry go round. 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 
No more merry go round. In the name of Jesus, no more merry go round. You will hit the target in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow. Please come in early. Let's fix the whole place and make everywhere fantastic. God bless you. Bye-bye.